Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to GameSpot's E3 2013 newsroom coverage. Sean McInnes here. Dan Capini. Dan Capini right here. And we're going to talk to you about a little game called Skylanders thing, Swap Force. It's not even that small it, anymore. No, it's this a huge thing, game. It's a, a phenomenon. It is, it is indeed fair to say. a phenomenon. Absolutely. Now, Dan, I'm going to be yes. honest with you right now. I'm going I'm to put Sean. this all out on the line. I've never played a Skylanders game. But I saw the Skylanders Swap Force demo with you, and yeah. looking at it, I was like, I can see why that's so popular. Enough that, that you want to play it? I, I, I'm not going to go that far, <laughs> but looking at it, this, that game looks pretty whimsical. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's designed primarily for kids, but yeah. the, the appeal which, doesn't really stop there. Of which I mentally there. am one. Yep, yeah. kind of. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, they've, they've made some big changes this year. The, the most notable with Swap Force is the swapping yeah. and the forcing. Uh, <laughs> the forcing. Let's not talk about the forcing right now. <laughs> the swap. <laughs> so the back to the swapping. You let's, take a, let's focus on yeah, the forcing for a you bit. You take no. a toy and you you basically you you pull the tor you rip the torso from the legs. Torn asunder. Yeah, yeah. torn asunder. Like a hot chicken. Like a hot. Like a hot chicken that you forced apart. And then you put the torso onto another <laughs> toy, Sounds and then grim, you get like it? a brand new sky. And you, you, yeah, you create a new mockery of nature. <laughs> you take the bottom of a squid and the top of a <laughs> something else. A new assault against God. <laughs> <laughs> Every game is another injustice. Yeah. But <laughs> okay, that is it. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. Yeah. You take two very, uh, in some cases, different elements. <laughs> Uh, and you, you mix and match them for the best of both abilities. So in all the previous games, you only had one character. And right. they were an elemental type, mm -hmm. uh, they have particular attacks, and if you wanted something that was a little bit different, then you had to go and buy a different toy. Uh, you could always play all the way through the games with the stuff you already owned, uh, but this is actually the thing. It's going to have exponential value in terms of uh, mixing and matching the, the different types. Uh, they tend to do them in batches of uh, 30 to 40-ish okay. per season. They're doing that again. 16 new swap characters. Mm -hmm. um, they've got 16 new core uh, characters, 8 new light core, which are the guys that blow, but I think they all blow now. Uh -huh. uh, and like they did with the uh, Series 2, the giant ones, they're also going to re-release Series 1 and 2 characters in new poses uh, with new abilities as well. Uh, so 32 new characters or more. I, I think it's somewhere around like the, 30, uh, the 56 mark. And so what about the people who have already invested so much money into the earlier games who have yep. those portals and have all those toys? Yep. Are they screwed? What's the backwards compatibility? <laughs> That's here? the official. No, actually you're in luck because uh, they were forward thinking enough that all of the existing toys, uh -huh. Series 1 and the, uh, the Giants, will all work on uh, Skylander Swap Force. Okay. The only difference is that uh, apparently it's a technical limitation that mm -hmm. the number of NFC cards that can be read at once by okay. having multiple characters and the uh, right. little bonus items on there. Uh, it means that you'll need to get a new portal, but uh -huh. realistically, you, know, right. you, you buy a starter pack anyway, which includes the software, the, uh, the portal of power, right. and uh, a couple of the, the characters. Okay. Okay. Um, so th there's no risk with that one. All right. The other stuff they're adding as well, uh, you can jump now. All of the characters can, you can jump, jump, which is a Hell big yeah, deal. You can jump. Fans wanted to jump. And uh, and they said they've got a new uh, graphics engine. Yeah, so it's, it's a very pretty game. It's a totally different style. If you hadn't seen the previous games, they were a little more isometric. Oh, okay. Uh, the, some of the movement was a little clunky. Uh -huh. This looks like a, a much more um, animated kids game style right. look. Uh, but it looks fantastic. The other yeah. thing we should mention as well is that the bases have different elements. So they've got the elemental types, okay. like um, uh, you know, fire and water and earth and all the, the classic stuff. But they'll also have specific unlocked types, so ladder ones, rocket boots, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you'll need those to access the otherwise inaccessible areas. Um, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of these stuff. All right, cool. Well, there you have it, guys. That's your update on Skylander Swap Force here at E3 2013. If you want more on swapping and forcing, <laughs> make sure to check out our e you know you do. live stage show. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can tweet at us through the hashtag GameSpot E3 hashtag. <laughs> GameSpot right, E3. GameSpot E3. Don't tell our parole officers. All right. Thanks for watching.